Hi guys, Gilbert is on the exterior course and he was asking about this tree line alpha. He was having trouble getting the alpha to work. So he sent me over the file and I'm just going to take a look at it. So some of you guys might also find this useful. First thing I'm going to do is hide all these trees and we can see he's done all the modeling really nicely. I'm just going to hit render and see what we get. Okay, we've still got material override on, so we can turn that off. And we can do that in the render settings, global switches, and override material, we'll turn that off. Now let's hit render. Okay, so you can see the tree line in there, but the alpha is not working. We can see this edge here, so let's cancel that. And we'll go into the material editor, so I'm just going to hit M on the keyboard. And this is the material. So if we go down to maps, we'll see that there's nothing in opacity. So let's add a bitmap. And these are the two images Gilbert has sent over. So I'm going to put the alpha in there. And we can see that the alpha is working now in this material. So if we hit render, We can see that now that it's working um, and it looks like there's a, a problem with the black and white alpha the outline seems to be too big so let's just cancel that and we'll go into Photoshop and let's open up the tree line and I think what's happened is I'm just going to change this to black and white and I'm also going to put levels on there and what's happened is you can see when we turn this to black and white you can see the edges of the leaves around here and but if you go too far it's kind of going to expand the alpha so we probably want this on about 60 should be fine so we still keep these edges nice and crisp so I'm just going to save this and let's apply that also let's just invert this because black is going to be invisible so apply and invert and resave that now back in Mac in the material editor let's add this newly created alpha and we'll hit render and that should solve the issue so there's still some bits and pieces that could be worked on so like we can always go back into Max and because we've used these adjustment layers so we can always go back in and update it if you want to see more so maybe something more like this might work a little better but there you can see you can see these um, adjustment layers how effective they can be to so just go back in and change things so I'd advise using them as well and that should automatically update so if we hit render again you should see the difference in here and that's much better now we can really see the colors so that's hopefully answered your question and I hope that helps a few more of you that are working on the exterior course.